Hey guys, what's going on? Daryl Addison at torpedopont.com. Daryl Addison at torpedopont.com. And I've got a choice to make. I have beautiful plants back here that we're going to see. And I need to find out, should I get rid of them and replace them with food? And I need you to tell me what I need to do. This is a question I'm asking you. Show, tell me what to do, okay? I'm going to walk through this together because they're still flowering. I mean, my dog is like relaxing. Isn't, you know, my wife's dog, you know, whatever. But we're relaxing together. And she feels very comfortable. She sees all these bright colors and flowers and the movement of insects outside. And she, like, she feels like she's at home, you know? She feels relaxed. Um, because the atmosphere is relaxed. Plants bring down the tension in the room. Plants reduce the tension. And when we're making these concrete jungles inside of our cities, we increase that tension. We're, we are connected to the earth. Torpedopod.com understands that we are connected to the earth and is looking at ways in which we can interface back and get parts of that earth back into our life. We're connected to the earth. We're earthy creatures. With that being said, you know, I have this garden here and I need to find out if I want to, I don't know what I want to do. I want you to tell me. All right, so I've still got a lot of food growing, but it's such a beautiful day. It rained and rained and rained. And a lot of these are depleted of their nutrition. Anytime it rains, when you have plants in a torpedo pot, particularly in the ground, it just washes all the nutrition away. It washes away that environment that had built up over time, that had been collected and built up over time. And that's why the consistent watering that we have at Torpedo Pot always uh, benefits your plants. It causes them to grow like you've never seen before. And that's why we have very little death in Torpedo Pot, because we understand what it takes to cause your plants to grow. So behind me, we have all of these plants. And it's amazing, isn't it? You don't see all that I see, but let's take it off so you can take a little small walk around and see if I can do this correct. Oh, you know what, guys? Maybe I'll just pull it out and we'll just take a look at it from here. So as you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm growing, dude. <laughs> a lot of your seasons are over with. You're not growing any food, dude. I, growing is not my problem. I have food. I just picked uh, 148 plants off of my... Uh, off of my uh, my eggplant uh, planters. So now we're gonna take a walk over to the Mandevelas. And man, are they hot or what? Some hot plants, man. Dude, these plants are hot. I love them. So Peter Pine grows these plants perfectly. <laughs> I can't tell you if I told you that I never have to test these plants, only supplement, maybe once every 10 to 12 days, I supplement, I'm really harsh on my plants. I don't give them a lot. I want them to develop and to grow, build their environments. I hit them when I see that they are going through changes. Um, it's been a lot of raining, so I know it's washed out a lot of the uh, biotic environment that's in that planter, and so it has to resustain itself. And so, but it loved that rain. It loved that washout, just like we, flush things down the toilet, plants need a flush out also. And that's why you'll see that, you know, about what, the lowest about two to three feet of that topsoil is all of that organic matter. It has to be flushed out, cleaned out in the system. And that's what the purified allows to take place. So anyhow, this is beautiful. So the problem I'm having right now is that I need to find out, I need you to tell me, should I keep these plants or should I throw them away? DarrowAddison.com. Should I keep these plants or should I throw them away? Well, Torpedo Pot allows you to grow your plants for as long as their life cycle, cycle will enable them to grow. You don't have to worry about, hey man, how long will my plant last? It'll allow the plant to grow into its life cycle. And it provides nutrition for that plant. 365 days a year available for that plant. So that plant will live and mature and grow and won't die. Um, I don't like making blanket statements, but it's very hard to kill a plant in a torpedo pot. It's almost impossible. If you have the growing conditions correct, 
and until Pewter Pot is made, is made available to that environment, it will grow your plant. It will grow your plant. And like I said, we all have problems and issues with our soil. Soil is a major problem, so sometimes you may have problems with your soil. But once you put it in a biotic environment where you can build yourself up, at least in an organic environment. Now, torpedo pot is a dual system. It not only has, you can put soil in torpedo pot, torpedo pot is a um, aquaponic system also. It can be converted over to an aquaponic system. So instead of joint growing, or I wouldn't say this traditionally, but growing in the new age, <laughs> growing, where you don't have to do anything, if you wanted to uh, use it as a hydroponic system, you could use it, you could convert it over. Now, how is that possible? Well, in hydroponics, you know, you put certain inputs into the water and you try to keep a certain uh, bacterial count inside of the water so you can control that environment. And torpedo pot understands that when you're feeding your plant intravenously, when you're giving it um, synthetic chemicals or, or whatever you think, the nutrients that you think that plant needs, um, you're also building up that environment. You're not feeding just that plant, you're feeding the environment. And it's the environment that feeds the plants. So focus on the environment, it'll get you there. All right, so the question is, now these are dying out. These petunias, wow, they look great, though. <laughs> and these are potato plants right here. And I have to tell you, I, I'm no expert, man. I'm just trying to, trying to get this right. So oh, the petunias are beautiful, aren't they? Man, look at that. That's beautiful. Man, that is absolutely beautiful. I never really sat down and came out here and looked at this thing here. That's beautiful. Man, that's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Torpedo pot grows your plants until it's full life cycle within the environment that it's in. All you do is put a plant in a self-growing planter that you see behind me on those pedestals, and it grows your plants for you. Isn't that amazing? And look how true it is to form, to color. That is just, that's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I'm hoping I get this true for you guys. I just want to make sure you're able to see the whole plant and its beauty. Man, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Wow. I love this. Man, look at that. True to form, color, everything. See how true those colors are? You know, you could never get true colors. Well, I say never, but... It's hard to get true colors like that in any of the uh, applications that we use the colors in. It's very hard to get true colors as vibrant and brilliant as this right here. Torpedo Pot brings that about. Torpedo Pot creates a healthy atmosphere inside of your planter so that your plants can live. Over and over and over again. It doesn't need you there. This plant right here, it's a potato plant, the uh, petunias are great. The potato plants look deficient in this environment, even though to some people, because it's rained a number of different days. So to potato, the potato plants are very sensitive to that organic environment. So when I go back and supplement, um, they won't bring them back because right now the seasoning is changing right now. And this is the discoloration thing you see. So this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put some food in here. I'm going to take the potato plants out. They were fine for the moment and they're beautiful. Um, but they got to go. So I got to put something in here that I know is edible. Um, I got some carrots coming in. I got some kale, got collard greens. I got so many other things that are growing right now. I just harvested <laughs> from my torpedo pots, five torpedo pots. I harvested 148 plants. Who does that? 148 plants. Who does that? DarylAddison.com. Take a look at what's going on. Be a part of the, be a part of the team. Find out where you belong at. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. That is just so beautiful. Man, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.